case briefs and so much more ls data's got what you're looking for in a 1941 case heard by the supreme court of the united states fashion originators guild of america inc v federal trade commission the court ruled against the fashion originators guild of america foga an organization controlled by 176 manufacturers of women's garments. Afoga had been accused of engaging in unfair trade practices, boycotting retailers who sold garments copied from their original creations, and coercing around 12,000 retailers to sign agreements to cooperate with their boycott program through threats of not selling to non-cooperators. The Circuit Court of Appeals upheld a Federal Trade Commission, FTC, decree that ordered Foga to stop these practices which were found to be unfair methods of competition and could lead to a monopoly. The case focused on the idea that organizations like FOGA cannot use their power to restrict trade and prevent competition through unfair practices that could lead to a monopoly, in violation of laws such as the Sherman, Clayton, and Federal Trade Commission Acts. The majority opinion found that FOGA's practices, done in combination, constituted unfair methods of competition tending towards a monopoly. The court held that FOGA's conduct was an intentional restraint of trade and commerce, limiting outlets for manufacturers and retailers, leading to a monopoly that violated the Sherman and Clayton Acts. The combination exercised control over the women's garments and textiles industries, resulting in a monopoly and coercing rival competition. The Supreme Court ultimately affirmed the decision of the lower court. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for Visit lse.law Elevate your mind Leave the stress of class